Hey guys, we're running about an hour or so behind schedule here. We had a big storm that came through, I think about a week ago. We just put our big trampoline together. It's like a 16 foot trampoline. Got it put together. It's been sitting in a box uh, for a very long time. Got it put together. Kids enjoyed it for two full weeks. A big, very rare high wind storm came through our area and totally wrapped, just wrapped it around a tree. All that to say, Travis and the kids did clean up outside with the trampoline and such this afternoon. We have a new one coming in the mail. And I'll say again, our farmhouse, our old farmhouse that isn't too far away from this location, we had a trampoline there for almost 10 years and never had that strong of a storm come through and cause that kind of destruction. So nothing else got hurt because I know you'll be concerned in those comments. The trampoline cleanup, that's why dinner's running late. So what we're doing this evening is I'm going to do a white chicken chili. I'm going to do it in my instant pot and then I'm going to do a bunch of corn on the cob in my new 14 quart Go Wise pressure cooker. And everybody else right now is just doing some evening jobs. I'm going to get dinner going and jump in and do some more jobs too. Our ingredients are really simple. We're going to put in about two pounds of chicken. I'm putting in a whole 40 ounce can of northern beans, a whole can of butter beans. This is a 15 and a half ounce can. I'm doing a can of navy beans. I'm doing a can of white corn. I'm doing a can of diced green chilies. And then I'm also gonna add in a cup of rice. And we're gonna put it in the Instant Pot and uh, well, I'm gonna put you some spices and such too, so I'll get those now. So I've got our chicken now in the Instant Pot and then I'm gonna open up our cans and put our cans and spices on top. And then after that, Miss Amelia and I in your Elsa dress, right? We are gonna get the corn going in the go wise. Something I'm showing tonight in the video is I'm gonna actually do both pressure cookers on my stove top so I can use my fan to vent. Several of you suggested this to me in my last video. What concerns me about that is obviously if someone does what I do and doesn't use safety precautions, so I just want everyone to be safe. If you set anything on your stove top, which I'm sure you're not supposed to do, you have to be super safe and make sure you don't turn your stove on. I also know that there's different, oh, Daniel's being passionate behind us. I know there's also different boards and things I've seen that you can get off of Amazon to use your stovetop more like a countertop all of that to say i'm doing this so i can vent the steam up my fan all my uh legal disclaimers and disclosures you all be safer than me yada 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 read your instruction manuals don't listen to talking hand next i'm putting in our can of white corn and we have a can of navy beans going in now if you wanted to do this same recipe in your slow cooker, that's totally possible. Again, you just dump it all in. Of course, you're not going to want to use frozen chicken. You're going to want your chicken to already be defrosted. But you put your defrosted chicken and all your ingredients in for about four hours on high. And then I got a can of butter beans that's going in. The big old can of great northern beans. And then here's a can of green chilies that's going in. And then I'm doing two tablespoons of minced garlic. So now I'm gonna add in a cup of dried rice. And then I'm adding in a teaspoon of each of these, the cumin, the paprika, the garlic powder, the onion powder. And then I'm gonna add in some salt and pepper. Yes, yes, your real mommy's gonna get him next. So there we go, guys. I add the spices in. I also just added a cup of water. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the lid on. And the boys are singing a song behind me. I'm gonna put a lid on, and then I'm gonna put it on the poultry setting for 20 minutes. And then it won't be too long, and make sure it's on steam. And that's it. So that's gonna make our white chicken chili including cooking our chicken breast from frozen. So all you need to do, so we've got our little steam rack in there. So you just start putting the corn in, Amelia, and you can put all the corn in there. Okay, okay and I'm gonna get the butter out while you do that. There you go. Miss Amelia's putting it in, and I have here Eight, four ounces, got half a cup of butter here that I'm gonna put in with the corn and we'll spin some salt and pepper on there. So good job. 
I was gonna do the corn and the cob in the air fryer, but then I thought, oh, I'm still breaking in this new pressure cooker. So, and you can do corn in your Instant Pot, or if you have a Go Wise or Pressure Cooker XL, so many different brands. And the settings really are similar in all of them. I'm just gonna put this on manual for three minutes and it does frozen corn perfect. So now we're gonna do our salt and pepper. We're almost out of this pink Himalayan salt. So there you go, hold it upside down. Perfect. Okay, you. how about you hold it and I'll twist it. How about I twist it and you hold it? <laughs> okay, let's try it. Twist it the other way, yeah. other way. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the lid in. Now, something I have learned with this big Go Wise, their lid is not as intuitive as the Instant Pot lid, and it makes a little chime sound when you have it set right. Oh, mommy, with mommy. the Go Wise, uh, you just, you have to pay attention to what you're doing. Excuse all my water marks on my lid here. Um, so I had a few times, the first couple times I used it, I think the first time it was fine, but then like the second and third time I didn't have my lid set right. Well, Obviously you have to make sure your lids are set here. right to be safe. So for the go wise, let me eyeball it here. Let's see, pressure time. We're gonna set it to three. And another thing I do like about the go wise is once it builds up its pressure, it gives me a pressure reading here. And so I can see when the pressure is built up and I can see later once the pressure is going down. That is a feature that I don't have on my eight quart instant pot. So just uh, comparing and contrasting for you. So of course, super loud in here. I just did the quick release for the last few minutes of pressure. I've been letting my IP do the natural release, but now I've just put on the quick release and it's just going up my vent there and I took the lid off. My corn has been done and has been sitting here beautifully for me. So that was nice and easy. And I'm gonna get bowls ready for the white chicken chili. So I just took the lid off for this white chicken chili. Of course, I just took pictures, just shared it on my Insta stories. But here is how it looks. You can see that rice turned out perfect. We have some nice broth going on. And then the chicken is still in chicken breast, big boneless, skinless chicken breast form. So I'm gonna set my camera down and just shred that with two spatulas real quick and then we'll serve it up. So I actually just pulled the chicken out. It took me all of 35 seconds to pull it out, shred it up quickly with two forks and there we go. So now I'm just gonna mix it back in the pot. Okay, that looks so good and now I'm gonna serve this up. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, we are closing up shop now. The kids are actually sitting on the counter eating, watching their different birthday videos whenever we've gotten those up on YouTube through the years. So that's how we're loving YouTube this evening. Loving our white chicken chili. Go over to largefamilytable.com to get the full recipe. Also text the word freezer to 44222 to my mega freezer planning pack. And I'll see you next time with another brand new video. Bye-bye.